my name is Sina Jassim, Assistant Professor at the Division of Endocrinology, Metabolism, and Lipid Research at Washington University in St. Louis. And I'm uh, Bill Middleton. I'm a professor of radiology at uh, the Malakrat Institute of Radiology at WashU. We'll be talking about our, our most recent paper, inclusion of thyroid nodule location and ACR thyroid scoring, the impact on system performance. In the last few years, there is uh, some literature that suggested the probability of malignancy had varied, varies depending on the location of the thyroid nodules. The initial uh, papers with a smaller sample size has suggested potentially the upper and maybe the upper and middle thyroid uh, nodules are more likely to have a cancer diagnosis. These uh, studies has not included isthmus nodule due to sample size. Afterward, a larger study done by our group have suggested that the isthmus nodule uh, at the highest risk of being malignant, uh, followed by upper, middle, then lower, with the lower thyroid nodules have the least risk of being malignant. Uh, this uh, data included about 195 uh, thyroid nodule in the isthmus region. These data were validated by a more recent study that suggested the isthmus nodules are twice more likely to be uh, diagnosed with cancer compared to the lobes uh, based on cytology data. Uh, however, these, uh, this last study did not uh, subdivide the lobes into upper, mid, or lower. And as we know, the ACR thyroids use a point-based uh, classification system for risk stratification of a thyroid nodule. Uh, based on well-established ultrasound features, including composition, echogenicity, margins, shape, and echogenic foci. And so the uh, observation we have explained earlier, um, the observation raised the possibility of adding thyroid nodule location to the current ACR thyroids and possibly to other uh, risk stratification systems. Therefore, in this current study, we compared the performance uh, between ACR thyroids and a revised scoring system or algorithm that adds one or two points for higher risk uh, location. So to do this, we used an existing uh, database from a multi-institutional study that included 300, um, ultimately included 3,241 nodules it started with about 3,400 nodules after excluding uh, nodules that uh, did not have any location um, information um, available and those that were so large that they occupied the entire lobe and we couldn't tell where they were located. We ended up with this number of 3,241 nodules of which about uh, 2,900 were benign and a little more than 300 were malignant. They were all cytologically or histologically um, proven. And you can see here the distribution of uh, the nodules with respect to the location in the thyroid. So most of them were in the mid low and the least number were in the uh, isthmus. So to determine if location could be used to improve tyrant, we tested five different revisions. So in the first revision shown here, we added a single point to isthmus nodules since they had the highest likelihood of malignancy in our uh, previous uh, study of location. In the second version, um, we added a point to upper lobe nodules as well since they had the second highest likelihood of malignancy. In the third version, we added two for the isthmus and one for the upper, fourth, two for the isthmus, two for the upper, and finally in the fifth, version two for the isthmus, two for the upper, and one for mid-lobe nodules. We never added a point for lower lobe nodules since they had the lowest likelihood of malignancy. And then for all of these um, categories, we studied or we calculated the sensitivity specificity, positive and negative predictive values, and the accuracy. First, assuming that a positive result was a recommendation for FNA. Tyrants gives three recommendations, either FNA, or follow-up or no further evaluation. So in one analysis, we assumed that FNA was a positive recommendation. And the other analysis, we assumed that either FNA or follow-up was a positive recommendation. And then in addition to these statistics, we calculated the ratio of benign to malignant nodules that receive either a recommendation for follow-up 
in this version or a recommendation for follow-up or uh, FNA in this version. So in table one, summarizing the sensitivity, specificity, positive and negative predictive value and accuracy when the recommendation is fine needle aspiration for the baseline and all five revisions. And as you see, the um, uh, five revisions were not significantly different between um, the baseline ACR tyrides and the other revisions in sensitivity, uh, negative and positive predictive value. Uh, as uh, we highlighted in the star here, revision two through five were, were, had worse specificity and accuracy. And revision one had no difference, um, differences in these measures compared to the ACR baseline tarads. In table two, uh, we did the same exact thing when the recommendation is either a fine needle aspiration or follow-up ultrasound. And, uh, and that table shows the sensitivity in revision five. Um, uh, revision five actually had the best uh, sensitivity uh, compared to the baseline, 94% versus 89%, but the worst specificity, 22 versus 35% uh, and accuracy. Revision three and four had worse specificity and revision one and two were not different from uh, the baseline measures. So in order to determine what um, changed when we added points in these various uh, revisions, we also calculated the ratio of additional benign nodules that received a recommendation for FNA in this case, um, or malignant nodules that received a recommendation for FNA. And if we just focus on revision one, where we added a point to the isthmus, you can see that when we did that, there were 41 additional benign nodules that received that recommendation for FNA and four additional malignant nodules that received that recommendation. So looking at this ratio, we know that for each additional uh, cancer that is detected by doing an FNA also requires FNA of an additional 10, 10.3 um, benign nodules. And then looking at that the same way, but assuming that FNA or follow-up was considered positive. Again, looking at the um, uh, revision one, where we just add a point to the isthmus, the ratio is eight. There were 32 additional benign nodules that received one of these two recommendations and four additional cancers that received one of these two recommendations. So for each additional cancer that was, detect what was detected, it required FNA or follow-up of eight additional benign nodules. So this, uh, this question is very clinically relevant. Um, adding a point to higher risk location has, uh, as you see, degraded the performance for all revisions, except adding one point to the isthmus nodule, which is revision one. The similar performance of AC ACR tyrods and revision one uh, may very well be likely to reflect the small number of isthmus nodules resulting in infrequent alteration in the recommendation. However, isthmus cancer, there's more and more data that suggests that isthmus cancer are more likely to have extra thyroidal extension and possibly spread to local regional lymph node, um, making it at higher risk of having worse prognosis. Yeah, so isthmus nodules may actually be more important to detect than nodules elsewhere in the thyroid because they may have a worse prognosis. An important, one of the most important sentences in the ACR tyrads is uh, duplicated here. The ACR tyrads is designed to balance the benefit of identifying clinically important cancers against the risk and cost of subjecting patients with benign nodules or indolent cancers to biopsy and treatment. So assuming that isthmus nodules do not have a worse, um, or, or do indeed have a worse uh, prognosis, we believe that adding a point to isthmus nodules at least warrants further consideration um, and should be uh, a focus of uh, future research. At least in this patient cohort, cohort um, it would result in detection of four additional malignancies at the expense of performing FNA on 10 additional benign nodules 
for each of those additional malignancies that's detected. And this is not far from the cancer incidence in general when we see thyroid nodule, which is on average 15%. Here we are finding about 10% risk of having thyroid cancer in, in the isthmus region when we biopsy one for each 10. Therefore, we think this question is clinically relevant and prospective studies are warranted to assess the impact of this revision on the risk stratification and the management system. For further details of the study, please review our uh, uh, publication on AJR, uh, and this is the details of the paper. Thank you very much. Thank you.